Hello everyone, welcome to the MOOCs on print and broadcast journalism. This is Dr. Neeta Khandelwal working as an assistant professor in the department of HECM, SDAU. As I am in the teaching profession for the last six years, unlike other teachers, I usually give assignment to my students for fostering their creativity, enhancing curiosity and to inculcate critical thinking. However, over the period of time, I realize that they have less interest in assignments. Although it doesn't mean that they don't know anything. In fact, I find them curious for learning and possess an intent of getting the bottom of the things, but they don't know how to effectively string words together and express thoughts. I think this is very much essential for every student from any field. Enquiring something through research, critical and iterative thinking, curiosity, imagination and investigating habits makes a student capable to demonstrating what they have learned in the classroom. Through this process, the student may become a content creator and all of this is possible easily through journalism. So today in this lecture, I would like to give an overview of concept, importance, function, principle and elements of journalism. Let's begin with the word journalism. The word journalism is derived from the French journal which has its base in the Latin term dinal which means daily. This habit of keeping diaries or daily account gradually led to the evaluation of the word journalism. It is an academic study concerned with writing editing and media management. Journalism is deeply rooted from different aligned subject of social sciences and today it is made possible through the convergence of several technologies as well as various social, political and economic developments. Journalism is a form of communication between the news and the people that is based on seeking answers straight to the point of the questions of five W's and one H that is who, what, when, where, why and how of important current events. Journalism is bound by the ordinary moral principle to dig out truth from lies. The journalist knowledge and his or her report of the news must be true. What the journalist communicate is the information about real events and people. Most importantly, people trust only on reliable information rather than propaganda that help them to make a better decision in their life. The actual definition of the word journalism itself is means of gathering, assessing and creating facts and figures about events and issues of the day and disseminating or presenting this information to the society through print and electronic media or live streaming. It means the newspaper we read and news we watch on the TV or hear headline broadcast on radio all are forms of journalism. In other words, journalism is a way of shaping and delivering information into news content through text, voice, picture or videos which helps the public to know about contemporaneous incidents and events. It can be said that journalism describes the present situation as it develops to everyone, you, me and the society as a whole. So, journalism simply means to provide information to the public. See for example, what you first do when you meet with your friend, you just to share information. You generally ask them, have you heard about it? We want to know what others know and whether they have heard the news in the same way as we have. Also, how others react to information. This is called journalism. Presently, there are multiple ways to present the information or news such as articles, reports, news items, opinions, editorials, pre-recorded or live broadcast 
and even tweets. The content provided by news source influences public perception. The authenticity and reliable broadcasting of public information is a prerequisite in journalism. Good journalism means treating your sources and audience with truth and respect by providing the right context so people understand the greater truth beyond the information. Journalism is a form of communication, but it is distinct from other forms of communication in three ways. The first difference is that journalism is a one-way message from the journalist to the audience. Yet, it is most unique because the message is not just a personal story or subjective facts. Instead, of the journalist is normally concerned with communicating knowledge of current events or situations and things that are about to happen or that have happened recently based on his or her observations and discoveries. The second form of distinction is that the journalist direct their writing to all literate people, including the man in the street. Since they are communicating knowledge of current events to the general public, the journalist must use symbols which can be easily and clearly understood by everyone. And the third difference between journalism and communication is that before communicating the information of events of the day to the mass audience, a journalist gather the information and analyze it. This is done by witnessing the event as it occurs by questioning others who either have witnessed the event or have some information about it by a study of public record or official reports or by research through books files or other references when you write for journalism in the form of video stories whether it features sport news or documentaries you tend to rely on the same set of elements to inform and engage viewers. There are some set of elements you need to know while writing for journalism. Likewise, there are mainly five elements in any piece of journalism and out of the first one is news. News are journalistic conception of event, time and subject matter. News is an accurate, unbiased account of current, timely event which is reported in the mass media and is significant to a large number of people in a locality. The second element of journalism is reporting. Journalism without news and news without reporting is impossible to imagine. Reporting means collecting or gathering of fact and information. The third element is a language. Journalism has its own voice and style. The language of journalism is disciplined by its public and empirical character and its vocabulary of public discourse. The fourth element of journalism is narrative. What applies to language also applies with equal force to the operation of the narrative principle in journalism. In spite of the availability of new technology and web for news, storytelling is still an important aspect of journalism as it joins the dots and creates the full picture. An important consideration is to know what readers already know and what they want to know. The fifth element of journalism is meaning. Like all storytellers, journalists require to inscribe meaning on the facts and events they are describing.